the register is not voluntary. Um, to the best of my knowledge, the uh, clerks of court uh, are scrupulously accurate in keeping it, and therefore, wherever there is a recusal, you may depend upon it. It, it will be recorded in the register. But perhaps the more important point is that uh, there are countless cases where um, the, the register doesn't even come into play because you may find in a sheriff court, particularly in the country areas, that the sheriff will say to the sheriff clerk, if any cases come into this court involving such and such a body or such and such a person, make sure I don't get them because uh, I, I've, I've got a connection there with the result that, of course, the cases never reach the sheriff and therefore the register um, it never comes into play. And that's always been the case. And, and after a while in a court, most uh, sheriff clerks will know exactly the sort of cases in which the local sheriff may have some sort of connection. Um, I don't really see it as a problem. The other thing, of course, is that I should, forgive me if, if I just add this point too, that what's become very clear from the register of recusals is that the vast majority are related to circumstances that this petition, this register that's being proposed, uh, we, we would not affect in any way. For example, supposing the sheriff and the night before a case sees the defender's witness list and he recognises someone who's a close friend, then, of course, um, he'll immediately recuse himself. But a register of assets such as this petition proposes would, would be of no value in a situation like that. 